though. Well, hair and makeup hadn't been over here either. <laughs> well, hair did. Hair showed up. Makeup, not so much. <laughs> mm. Good morning. We're running just a little bit behind this morning. James got a little tied up, so thank you for your patience, for hanging in there with us and joining us this morning. Good morning, Robin. Bill. Hey, Jason. Good morning, Matt. Hey, April. Kyle. Hope you guys had a good weekend and a good Thanksgiving. Some good Friday, some Black Friday shopping. Good morning, Tom and Terry. We had a good Thanksgiving weekend. We worked on the little blue Camaro. I cleaned a lot of parts and James and Brantley put the motor together. Morning, Matthew. Morning, Billy. Jake. Hey, Don. Hey, Steven. I got an audience for you. Oh, cool, I don't know. An injector harness. Back there in the room of treasures. Our treasure room. Hopefully some of those things back there will find a new home this week, so you guys stay tuned for that. <laughs> Babe, I don't know. Do what? I the ones with Richard? I'll find it. I'll find it. Um, do what? I'll oh. find it. You're live oh, by live. the way, you're live on Facebook. Oh. Ha! I've done that once. <laughs> so, we are going to, or I'm going to tell everybody the rules for a J2 connector. Oh, wow. Was it the one that Richard was looking at and I put in a box? I think so. I can find it. I know where it is. Right. Back there in the end room, that way I can sit on my ass. Uh, what we, oh, rules for my series. Michael, you missed the update. My ride is coming along. I cleaned the parts and James put the motor together yesterday. And Brantley. Yes, and Brantley. He was a huge help right up until he couldn't use the Allen wrench set anymore. <laughs> because if he couldn't do it with the Allen wrench set, he said, Papa, I have to use this tool. I said, well, that tool only fits this. Well, that's all I can work on. <laughs> so, as a matter of fact as he was, he let me know real quick that that's all he could work on was rockers. If you guys have watched the video, you've seen the determination in that little one's face to get some rockers put on a motor. Oh, yeah. See, and I didn't notice when he was helping me, he knocked two of the lash caps off until I had the motor, to, until I had it all buttoned up last night. Oops. So I had to pull rockers and stuff back off. I set, I set all the push rod length with uh, no lash caps. So now i got to do that again. But only on two holes. So, um, where are my rules? Okay. Oh, oh, you got now, these are real rules for the Out of Time No Prep Series. Which at PRI, we're going to announce all the tracks. The first one uh, is going to be in Florida at uh, Emerald Coast Dragway. Everybody knows. Everybody already knows about that because we were rescheduling. But that's going to be the first one, and uh, hmm. just to clarify, we're, that is your no the first of this, your no prep series, not the radio versus no prep. No, it's not radio versus no prep. Uh, we're probably going to do that in November somewhere, but right now I'm focused on the series, which is going to be the first weekend of every month. It's going to run through February to October. And it's going to be in a different different track every time. And we're going to go to places where nobody's done no prep at. Mm -hmm. Because this is still to me about growing the sport. So my big tire rules. And anybody that knows me knows. I'm not going to argue about it. I'm not going to debate it. It's my race, my rules, my series, period. So here are the big tire rules. Tomorrow we'll release the small tire rules. 
Then we'll release the daily driver rules and the daily driver 2.0 and all that stuff. And then the general race rules. That way you guys get to listen to this shit every day this week. And then Stacy's update on her car, which she's been cleaning parts. And she's been doing a pretty good job of it. I haven't had to send any, I've only had to send a couple things back for quality control purposes. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Steel roof and quarters, OEM body. Need to have a VIN on it, but I'm not going to hold that to the letter of the law, but it's going to be an OEM body, and I'm not a stupid fucking person like everybody thinks. I know an OEM body. So if you got a six inch raked over front end, laid back windshield and all that shit, you're not gonna be allowed to, you're gonna have to go to outlaw big tire. That is That call is gonna be made by myself and Mike OC, right there, right there and right there. Uh, tire size restriction will be a 33.5 tire. I don't care how wide, but the height of the tire, it will be a 33.5 tire. No 34s, no 36s. If I can't make the tracks equal because you can't dumb down a good track and you can tighten up, a, 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 but that's not no prep. The thing is, the whole idea behind no prep is to make every car have the same chance of going to the final. So there will be a 33.5 tire restriction, period. Stock wheelbase plus or minus three inches, which I don't think anybody's gonna minus, inch, minus their cars, but no, not over three inches. The car must have a factory appearance. So, if you've got, like I said, you got a laid back wind chill, you got a pro, you, you got a pro mod molded wing and all that shit, you're not gonna be allowed to race. Uh, the purse is gonna be $10,000. It's gonna be in cash, and that's it. 250 buy-in. Well, that all comes with the race rule. Yeah. But it's a $250 buy-in. Uh, it is gonna be a point series. We're gonna give, there's gonna, we're gonna do the point system on all the races, because a lot of guys like that. And I'm building a very unique trophy out for it. Uh, I'm gonna get a hold of my little artiste welder, Brad Zoza. So if you're watching Brad, I need you to come to go to work. So we're gonna build a trophy for the winner of the, no, uh, of the, of the big tire. And we're gonna build that thing out of broken reaper parts and these nuts parts. So it'll be a pretty cool deal. Of course, we are gonna give a trophy away for every class and we're gonna do it all at one time. We're gonna go down on the track, we're gonna announce, uh, we're gonna announce the winners, we're gonna hand the trophies over, uh, we're having t-shirts, I get a t-shirt, and whoever the winner is of the, of, of the point series, in that, we're gonna have their own jacket made. So, for the for the daily driver and and all the classes, whoever the points winner is is going to have an out of time no out of time out of time no prep jacket. Is there a weight restriction? Nope. Thirty seven power adders. You can have four turbos, two superchargers, and seventeen kits. I don't care. The restriction is in the tire because I, rules. Have killed racing. I've thought about it. One, one of the one of the classes that I really did like was 105 Outlaw. That's another reason. All you 105 Outlaw car, cars, they can't fit a 345 tire. They can't fit a 36. They can fit a 33. So all you 105 guys, now you got something to race at. Um, I thought that was a cool fucking class. I thought it was awesome the way they did it, and then they just kept putting more and more rules on it. Those are my rules. Those rules are not going to change. They're not open for debate. They're not open for discussion. And, and the small tire rules, we'll do small tire rules tomorrow. And the, it's the same thing on every one of them. The rules aren't going to change. It's not going to go before a committee. It's not going to be voted on. None of that shit. The rules are what the rules are. I want everybody to come. I want everybody to have a good time. We are going to do a car show at every one of them too. We're going to try to make this. You guys noticed I've been trying to hold back on my cursing? You distract me, dude. Are you going to address the burnout? Huh? Today. Cool. That's part of the, the, the race rules, but the, the burn, I mean, that's part of the race rules. Okay. General race rules. Okay. Why? Somebody ask you? Not yet. I just want you to forget. No, I didn't forget. Okay. 
What, dude? What? You, whoa! What did you build? Somebody just asked if Legos I... are legal. Legos are legal, but you better go to the Lego factory and get an OEM one. Has to be an OEM Lego car. And you also be you you will have a minimum weight of seven hundred eighty five pounds mm -hmm. with driver. Hey, hey, at Disney World, they have like a ginormous dinosaur built out of Legos. Lego Land. It's no awesome. dinosaurs can race at the race stage. That's awesome. Bradley thinks that would think that's cool. Would you like to see a dinosaur race? Would you like to see dinosaurs racing? You're a big dinosaur guy. Is that a dinosaur car? I Well, I think it's awesome, dude. And I turned these into two pieces, and they can turn into. They're what? What are those? They can turn into puppets and backy pieces. They're boosted. What kind of boost does it have? Is it pro charger? Nitrous? Turbo? What kind of power adder? What's up, power adder? <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, that's the rules. That's all they're going to be. Of course, everybody's welcome. It's not an invite deal. Um, but we are going to make these races a, a, a family-type deal because, like I've told everybody from the beginning, everybody says they're all about growing the sport and all that stuff. I can't. I don't see it. But I do know I am. So, and that's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to, I, I want to really push, I want to get people out there in their daily drivers, their, you know, with their bolt-ons or just the daily driver stuff. And at uh, every, every one, we're going to have a different kind of race. And it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. But it's going to be racing something that nobody would think about racing. I want Lego Land. Huh? I want Lego Land. You love Legoland. You ever been to Legoland? Yeah. When? Have you been in his bedroom? <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess his bedroom's Legoland. So, uh, that's the rules. Anybody that likes them? Hey, that's awesome. If you don't like them, well, there's other places to go race. I, I, I want to see everybody get out there, have a good time, and everybody have a fair shot at winning and nobody being able to run away with the, with the series. Maybe that's going to happen. Hey, if it does, that's awesome. Um, but I, I like to see a, a different winner every race, but it's going to be, it's just going to fall out how it does. So I will be doing all the announcing. I will not be racing this series. Rich Bruder is going to drive Reaper in it, but that's their deal. They will be racing the car. I'm not having nothing to do with it. Rich is going to drive. Nick's going to tune it and they're going to race the car. I'm not going to be over there standing by the car any of that stuff. They're just, they're going to take it and they're going to run it just like it's their car, just like I let Kelly, when Kelly ran it, I let Kelly run it his way because I don't think me racing in the series would be fair. And that car will meet ex the exact same rules as everybody else. I will not play favoritism. Everybody that knows me, I may be an asshole, but I'm the same ass every day. And it's going to be fair. It's going to be fun. At Cordova, we didn't have not one complaint when everybody left. All they wanted to know is when we were coming back. And that's what I want to have. I want to have a killer series. I don't care about the bullshit. I don't care about all the crap on Facebook. I just want us to all go out and race and have a good time. This is not No Prep Kings. This is the out of time. No, this is, no this is my No Prep series that I was starting before started the show. This was something that, this is something I've been working on, guys, and planning for three and a half years. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And, and that was what, when, when the show started, that's why I ran the other ones, is the Edinburgh one was the one that was gonna kick off my series for that year. And I postponed my series to do the TV show. Because at the end of the day, I still think no prep is gonna be the biggest thing racing's ever seen. Um, I've told everybody, I've got a couple more years of this, and then, I'm going to step out of a car. When Brantley turns six, I'm no longer going to get in cars like Reaper or the 69 or any of that. I'm going to drive stuff like my Nova because I'm not good. Every time we get in one of these cars, 
it, it, it's a gamble you take because these cars are so fast, it could take your life. And I'm not going to have Brantley see me wad a car up, and that's always a possibility. Or somebody hit me in the car, or me hit somebody, you just never know. That's why, they, that's why it's racing. So, two, two years with the day, when he turns six years old, I'm done. And then I'm just going to race stuff like my Nova. That's why I'm building my Corvette. That's why we're building this car, this 68 Camaro. I'm going to race slower stuff that I have a better chance of. So, uh, anything else? Something I didn't touch on? Mm -hmm. So, we will do small tire rules tomorrow. What time is it now? We do them all at 930 every time? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Um, the, the rules will be posted up here in just a little bit on the page for for Big Tire. And then we'll do, a, after we do the live feed, we'll do the post. That way nobody has to watch this live feed multiple times to get the rules. Because, I mean, that was a long-ass list of rules. And I'll make sure there's no misinterpretation of the rules. So, hey, if they're, if they're simple like that, kind of hard to figure out a way to cheat them. What? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, everybody knows what a factory factory car is. Everybody knows what a factory repairing car is. Um, come win 10 grand. I want to see all the 10-5 cars. I mean, there's a lot of 10-5 outlaw cars. Brantley, that's enough. That is enough, son. There's a lot of 10-5 outlaw cars out there that are super fast cars. And, and they're, they're, they're great cars. And 10-5 is not as big as it once was. So... I expect to see a lot of 10-5 guys coming out here and trying this because that's what Reaper was, 10-5 Outlaw car. That's what 69 was. They were all 10-5 Megalodon with 10-5 Outlaw car. They work. They work good. You put a bigger tire on them, you just really don't have to do a whole bunch. And there's some super fast ones out there, and it'll be a lot of fun. Think about a 33-5 tire. Everybody's having to run. I don't care about the brand. The height of the tire will be restricted at 33-5. Buff it off the sidewall, I ain't gonna do you no good. You buff the number off the sidewall, you're not the kind of person we want racing there. This is not an invitational race. Absolutely, yeah, I'm invited. It is an invitational race. Everybody's invited. There you go, there you go. You got a car that fits the rules, you got a car that fits any of the classes, you got a car that you want to go to the car show, because we're gonna have a car show at every one of them. Everyone will have a car show. I want to get, the whole goal behind this and the thing that I want to do is, is grow the sport. I want to get people going down a racetrack. I want people to come to the racetrack. I want people to have a good time. That's what I'm in this for. As long as I don't go broke doing it, which I hope I don't, but I'm going to do this series. Uh, I've got, I feel like I've got the best team out there. I've got Stacy and I've got Sis and I've got April and Marshall and uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. From South Carolina, I got Mike O.C. and Sarah O.C. I, I feel like that, you know, I've got a great team that they, they all love racing. They all love being a part of it, and they're in it They're in it for the same reasons. They want to see this thing grow. So we're taking off with that series. It'll be the first weekend of every month. There will be one of my races coming to somewhere. We will announce all the racetracks at PRI. And we're da we got one left. We got one one month. Is it one or two? It's seven or done. Seven right? or done. So I've got I've got a few things to tie up, loose ends to tie up on tracks today, but it'll be done today. Okay. So and we're going to some really cool places. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're definitely doing that. I I, I think I think the tracks that, that, that we've talked to, they're excited about going there and us being there and and so when we pick some exciting good times to go there. So. I tried to do them once a month. We're not going to have to chase the thing. Nobody's got to chase the thing every week. Mm -mm. Um, I'm trying to make it to where it's, you know, in the summer months we go to places that are cool. and yeah, in the, face it, we're fair weather kind of people. Oh, I'm, I'm fat and old. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't like to sweat and I don't like to freeze. Myself as well. So we're going to try to make it to where it's fun. It's going to be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm pretty excited about it. I've been playing this for three and a half years, and this is the year that we're going to make it happen. So every time, every day this week, we're going to release the rules for the next class. And that way there's no 
If I if I read all of them at one time, it'll all get misconstrued. Kind of like some guy on Facebook the other day come off of them no prep king rules. Where where'd that come from? Oh, that was just no prep rules, wasn't it? Huh? That guy's kind of dick. I think he just likes to stir up stuff. All right, I gotta get back to work. Are you good with it? Yeah. I think everybody else is good with it. All right, guys. Uh, get your cars ready and let's go race. Have a good time. All right. I'm out. Paris tomorrow.